They say a fisherman got so cold out here one day that a couple of his fingers froze solid. I wouldn't doubt it. And then his fingers broke right off. I wouldn't doubt it. And then he used them for bait and he caught a huge walleye. I wouldn't doubt it. You wouldn't doubt it? The last guy I told that story to was sure I was making it up. Well, I wouldn't believe that frozen fingers for bait story if I... I've got a great fishing hole over here. I'd let you have it for five bucks. I've caught a couple of perch so far, but they're only five inches long. Not worth keeping. What? Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, what do you mean? There's no minimum size here today, and perch are worth 50 cents an inch. They're all going to die anyway, so you should keep every fish you catch. Oh, yeah. So those two five-inch perch would have been worth five dollars. Yeah, plus they won't go to waste if you keep them. Uh, I'll keep them all from now on. Did you get any cocoa from Kate's Bake Shop? Yeah, a couple of cups. Did it taste funny to you? I don't care how it tastes, as long as it's hot. I've got lots of extra bait. I'll give you a bunch of it for your biggest fish. Doing any good? I've got about 20 fish so far. Wow. What's your secret? I use a special jigging technique to keep the bait wiggling just a tiny bit. You just jig the pole a tiny bit? No, it's faster. Almost a vibration. There's only one way to get that motion into the bait. You've got to be shivering. Shivering? Yeah. No heater, no shanty, nothing. You just let yourself get really cold and you catch more fish. But you could freeze to death. If you can't handle the lack of heat, stay in the kitchen. Anybody ever tell you... You're a couple of plays short of a fish fry. Having any luck today? Nah. Not a single fish? I've been catching all kinds of fish. But you said you weren't having any luck. I'm not. You win the lottery through luck. You catch fish through skill. Oh, come on. There's luck in it, too. Doesn't matter half as much as skill does. I see you've got a lot of fish there. Are you the one to say you've got those because you had some luck? Nope. Go with skill. Nope. Then how'd you get the fish? Money. I bought them off the guy over there. He didn't know what they were worth. So how much are they worth? Uh, not much. Hey, I'll give you 50 bucks for that pike you've got. 50 bucks? Sure. This is my lucky day. guess they're not biting on this end of the lake. What makes you say that? Well, for one thing, that fisherman back there has obviously gotten bored with the fishing. He's juggling to pass the time. But did you see what he was juggling? He had a set of green juggling clubs. Those were frozen walleyes. On second thought, maybe this end of the lake will be good. But I wonder why he was juggling. Probably ice building up in his brain. I've got a 9-inch 
bluegill yesterday. That's a nice one. How did they call bluegills bluegills? Because they have blue gills. Not that blue. More like bluish black. And that's only the tip of the gills that are even that color. But that wouldn't roll off the tongue, would it? Bluish black gill tips. It would be more honest. That's all I'm saying. Since when are you so worried about being honest? Since yesterday, when I caught that 10-inch bluegill. Subscribe!